Our next inductee, Pastor Heidi Ochia. When you say incredible people, you're talking certainly about Pastor Ochi. It's incredible some of the things that he's done. He's instructed over the years, if you believe this, over 500,000 students at his training facilities, university programs, his EKP secondary school program. He's awarded over 1,000 black belts, of which approximately 100 are licensed instructors. He's a founder of Washamru Karate. Did that in 1966 and has perfected it. He has done incredible things with so many people. Created and taught Zen in the martial arts of Japan at the Anthropology Department at Binghamton University. He's written books including The Essence of Self-Defense, Living Karate, a complete book of self-defense, self-defense for kids, and many more. Along with his teaching ability, he was a tremendous competitor and demonstrator as well including seen on ABC's Wide World of Sports, also um, at the U.S. Karate Championships, the Grand Nationals, International Karate Championships in Long Beach, California, and many, many more, winning numerous titles, numerous tournaments, and carrying his word to people all around the world. He was ranked five consecutive times as number one Kata performer in the U.S. by the BKA, Professional Karate Association. This record still stands. Black Belt Hall of Fame Instructor of the Year, Man of the Year. If you tore his dojo, you may well see him on the cover of Black Belt Magazine and others. USA Karate Federation Technical Committee under the National Olympic Committee and many, many more honors. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a distinct pleasure to welcome Master Heidi Ochia. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Tony, and the committee. And also, I'd like to congratulate all the inductees today. I'm so happy to be part of it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I like to many people talk about football, basketball, and baseball. They're all great sports. Uh, as a matter of fact, somebody asked me uh, earlier uh, as I came in, no, no one was there. A uh, gentleman didn't know who I was, of course, and then, uh, you know, for 49 years, I've been here. <laughs> so, so I thought you know, they would recognize me. <laughs> so this guy didn't recognize me. So, so are you the father of the whole fame thing? So I say, yes, sir. And he says, um, so what do you do? I mean, you're too small for a footballer, a basketballer. <laughs> What can I suppose you do? Say, no, I, I do nothing. I'm just a mailman. <laughs> I don't know if you do that. I usually you know, the man I talk to. I have to apologize. I was just kidding at the time, you know. <laughs> I was not in the mood of it, conversing with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to share with you a very short in a very short time, I'd like to share with you two important things. The victory, concept of victory, and great victory. Two are very different things. Victory is fun. Victory is when you beat the opponent. Victory is a game. It's fun. It's great. I like game. I like game too. But the great victory is one that player, he or she, walks the path of self-development based on self-respect and respect for others, concentration. Self confidence, self control. Because these things, uh, we are all equipped with the potential to be great. All the material 
that you need to be great is within yourself. So that's why I want to share with young people every day, he or she has potential to become great. So all within the self, you need patience and willingness to walk the path of self-development. And uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Now my students are here. Did you get up and just show me the face? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.